So we'll just be working this area here from Schlote to some good bait showings. And uh, yesterday we got uh, quite a bit of, uh, quite a few pulls on the bucktail. Had about four or five pulls on the bucktail. Uh, got one cooter on it. it. Had one one converted, got one hit. Also, what it does with the bucktail, you throw it out, you let it sink, so it goes right to the bottom. And then when you work it back, you're working right through different water depths. You know, it's coming through. So the fish can be down, they can be up. So it just gives you more coverage. And obviously, just we we trawling with the baits so are just behind us, and it widens our, our coverage. We're always throwing it away from the boat and working it back towards the boat. So yeah, so you just need to keep obviously action going all the time. Every extra bait, every extra rod that's in the water is an extra chance. Uh, if you want to sleep, then uh, sleep in with mommy. The boat's not for sleeping. It's for fishing. You sleep on a kayak. <laughs> what I'm doing here is just uh, I've just got a popper on the on the spinning stick. Just throwing a popper, obviously, to try and see if there's anything that's going to take it. But it also what it does is just creates a bit of action in the water, makes big splashes. This. Uh, this particular Nomad's got a nice uh, deep cup, so it makes a nice big pop on the surface. It either might get taken, or it will bring fish onto our baits and then hopefully you get a bite. So yeah, you've got to always be fishing. Like Byron says, you can't sleep here on the boat. A bit different to when you're fishing on a kayak, where you're a bit limited when you're on your own. When you're on the boat, there's a couple of you need to just be working all the time. Whereas on the kayak, you obviously got your your bait rods out, and you can obviously pop and spin, but it's not as it's not as easy as to to mix it up as much as as you do on the bait.